Hello everyone, welcome to the 19th video of the Titanic Solution series. In the previous video, we built a random forest model with hyperparameters tuning using grid search. Now, we got a leaderboard score of 0.78468 in the previous model that we built here, right? And obviously, we selected 30 variables for the modeling process and we got a leaderboard score of 78468. Now, what we wanted to do is test if all the variables would give a better score and see if that is true within this particular Kaggle leaderboard. What we'll do is like all the other video series, we have already created the features within Excel and imported those two data sets after all of the features are created, right? So we're gonna build on that particular data set and it's obviously having all the features that we need and all the missing value treatment and feature engineering is already beat done. So we'll begin by importing pandas and then also importing the data sets with all the features created. Like always, we're going to take all the X variables from the train data set and drop passenger ID and survived. Y variable will be survived. Like the usual thing, we're going to also divide it into test and train split take an instance of random forest classifier and run one particular model to see what are the parameters that are available, right? So obviously these are the parameters. Now we're going to do a grid search, but this time like in the previous steps, you'll see that we selected uh, certain features to build this model, right? So this time we're going to get rid of all these steps, right? And directly go to the grid search method, right? We'll be using the same parameters that we used in the earlier video, right? The parameters will not be changing. The only thing that will be differing is the number of columns that we use for this particular model, right? The process remains the same. We import grid search CV, give all the parameters for random forest, then declare a instance of grid search CV with a default random forest classifier and the parameters that we have earlier given here right clause validation is going to be three and let's now fit that particular model right so this is going to take around 3.7 minutes to run with 1080 fits and the best estimator should be taken and then a new model should be built so that we can uh, basically see what the test and train accuracy is right so if you'll see that random forest grid best score is around 0.83 and in the previous model we are looking uh, at a score of 0.82. So like before, we are already seeing that there is some improvement in this particular score. Once we build the best model by taking the best parameters that we got from the grid search CV, we'll fit the model and then we'll see how our model performed, right? So we're going to predict on the X test data set because we're going to use all of the variables and then run a accuracy test on test and train data set and we'll see that the accuracy that we get are like this right the so test accuracy is around 0.85 which is pretty similar to what we had in the earlier case with 30 variables and the train data set has an accuracy of 0.87 which is little less than the train that we got from this particular 30 variables right so probably there might be some case of overfitting something that is you know getting overfitted in this particular thing in here you know the the test and train balance is much more closer the difference is much more closer and hence i suspect that this particular model will be a much more better model right so what i did next is obviously the steps to combine uh, do the test or prediction on the validation data set that kaggle has provided and then exported it and submitted it to kaggle right so with 30 variables, we got a score of 0 0.78 and with all the variables included and all the conditions same as this particular random forest model, the score bumped up to 0 0.94, which is again a significant improvement over the previous model, right? So it says that obviously, you know, keeping all the variables uh, is a good thing for this particular model and hence with random forest and keeping all the variables, we are roughly close to 0 0.8 and let's see if we can further boost this particular accuracy 
in other modeling techniques. So in the next videos, what we will see is try to explore the same Titanic solution with a pipeline. Thank you for watching this video, guys. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more such adventures.